Hi, Hi guys, guys, and welcome to Disney Day 2. It might be over tomorrow, but this day will live on. Good morning everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. And I'm Corey. And today we are in Animal Kingdom. Woo! It is 8.31. We just got to the park for early park entry, so we're gonna go scan in now. But we wanted to just do a quick hi, say good morning, intro the vlog. I've got on my little like bucket hat. Mickey, I'm probably gonna get a ton of questions. I think it's from a small shop called Cherry Days on Instagram. I can link their site down below because I know I'm probably gonna get some questions on it, but it's really cute, it's comfy, and then if I don't want to wear it, I can just like roll it up and smush it in my bag. And I'm excited for an Animal Kingdom day. Yeah. Are you? I love Animal Kingdom. Me too. I always like get so excited when we come here, and I feel bad that like we don't come here a lot. A lot. Or to or make it a priority to come here, but when we do come here, I get very excited. Yeah, it's, al it's, it's always a good park day. It's yeah. just the other parks hold different places in our hearts. We just like love them so much more. It's also, you might be seeing the camera getting like a little foggy. It is amazing muggy day in Animal Kingdom. You it's our attractiveness. See, like, my, yeah. Fogging. So yeah, we're fogging up the glass, but we're ready to head into Animal Kingdom. We used standby skip. We're using them the entire trip. This morning, they booked me a lightning lane at 9 a.m. for park opening for um, Navi River. Navi River Journey. Like, literally say less. I'm already loving them. We loved using Sorry. them yesterday. We kind of will share what they book throughout the day for us. And then we did an individual lightning lane for Flight of Passage. So we're going to probably rope drop Safari because you know we love a morning safari. Then we're going to spend the morning in Pandora, Nomad Lounge. We've got Dinosaur Everest. So we're going to have a full day. So come along and let's head into Animal Kingdom. You guys, we've made it into Animal Kingdom. Nice little walk. First thing to Safari. We're gonna obviously take you all along on the Safari because it's our favorite in the morning rope drop. So it is 8:46. I was gonna say it didn't take us 20 minutes to walk here, but we were taking like some video and doing some nice stuff. So quick little intro here, but let's go do Kilimanjaro Safari. Hi everyone. We just wanted to check in. We yes. just finished uh, the safari. So Great good. time this morning. So a lot good. of animals were out, which was so fun. Yeah, the the lion was doing nice snuggles. Both lions, both lions were doing nice snuggles. And sleeping. it was his face was like all smushy, and I was like, Corey, that looks like you when you wake up in the morning, and you have a smushy face. And we realized and I that you have a smushy lion face. And we realized that Brianna resonates with the lion the most because. Yes. They sleep apparently 16 hours a day to save their energy for hunting, hunting. and I'm like, that's Brianna. Yeah. She saves her energy to just hunt at me. Yeah, I do. I actually, we were walking before this, I'll put it in the blooper <laughs> reel, but we were walking and I love when Corey holds the camera because I feel like it's a good angle, but when we walk, we're like bumping into each other and then like it's half of me and half of this, so we'll put it in the blooper reel, but I was hunting Corey on the way here because I was just a little tootie. And by I, hunting me, giving happy me attitude. <laughs> but I'm happy now and I don't have a toot because I think this Pad is cute and it looks good in frame. But with that being said, we are now in Pandora. It is, let me check the time. 
9.32, so we're headed over to Navi, Navi River, River Journey now. We're gonna scan in for that. Then we have a flight of passage lightning lane, so then we're gonna scan in for that. And then I think we're gonna get a rum blossom, Absolutely. maybe a little snack of some sort, just spend like our morning in Pandora. We are using Standby Skipper again today. We're using them for the entire trip, and they just gifted us the service. We had to pay for the Genie, but they gifted us like a seven day consecutive thing to try it out to see if we like it. And so far, I am loving it. They, Like I said, they got us the lightning lane at 9 a.m. for Navi River Journey. So we're gonna go scan in for Navi River now, and then we'll tell you actually how long it took for them to book our second lightning lane, but we'll take you on Navi River Journey. But first, let's go see how long it takes to get a second lane. So we just did Navi River. However, I'm doing a quick check-in. We're gonna put Navi River after this so that we can do the whole overlay, really pretty B-roll of Pandora. But I wanted to share that when we do Lightning Lanes, Genie, whatever, it's always that second scanner is when you can actually start booking your next one. So I timed it and it was, I have to reopen my watch. It was like two minutes. Two minutes and like 30 seconds from when we had scanned in to when Standby Skipper, we had sat on the boat and they had already booked us another lightning lane. And it was for Dinosaur and it was for literally right, right now. now. It was for 940. So that was just so nice. I'm normally someone that wants to book things immediately. So I'm always waiting to see how long it's gonna take them. Yep. It never takes them longer than two minutes, but of course it's not me that's doing it. So it's gonna take a little longer. But I just wanted to give a quick check in. We're loving Standby Skipper so, so much so far. So I'm really excited to keep using them for the trip. But Let's head on to Navi River, then Flight of Passage, and let's take a walk around Pandora. up on flight of passage nice little walk around Pandora we got our nice drinks you know a rum blossom and a night blossom they're just so refreshing they're so good it is 10 I'm checking the watch right now 1033 so we are gonna head over to dinosaur nice. we have a lightning lane for dinosaur so we're dinosaur. gonna go and do that we're just having such a nice wonderful morning so far we were just joking it's Monday for us and I was like can you believe that we're drinking a nice cold beverage in Animal Kingdom and people are checking their email not the vibe. That's that's My not the vibe Lewis for me. My buddy Lewis is working, and I love. Yep. <laughs> well, every, everyone in like the world is pretty much supposed to be like is working. Everyone that I work with is working. True. All, all are working. But comment down below. What's your favorite hidden thing to do in Animal Kingdom? Because we always come here for only a few hours. But I'd love to know like what are some of your favorite things to do. So grab that drink because we need to cheers because we have a road soda for Dinosaur. Okay, I just Adjustments. wanted to do a quick thing before we headed over to Dinosaur, we're leaving Pandora now, but we've had a really good experience this trip compared to the last one or like a few others with our photo pass. Mm -hmm. Like I think the photos have just been so great, the cast members have been really good, except for that we've had one mishap. The guy that we did the Epcot oh, forever one, yesterday. he wasn't super great, but we just did Photo Pass in Pandora. Yeah. She was just so fun. Like, you know, we obviously are not gonna post or like use a lot of our pictures yeah. that are the goofy ones, but to get a really nice photo in Pandora, I think it's nice. So if you're interested in Photo Pass, I think we're gonna kind of talk about it. This trip is our first time ever actually like fully using fully it. Fully using it, yeah. Passes, but nonetheless, I have been enjoying Photo Pass. I've been enjoying it as well. Yeah, it's been nice. The comment I made after we just did this one is I love saying cheese. Oh yeah, you did. Love saying cheese. You did say that. Cheese. <laughs> we see the only bird in existence Brianna is excited about. Look how cute she is. What? Oh, that is a Hi, friends. Quick update. I don't know where we basically last left you. It is. 1227 we are back at pop changed into our swimwear and our little resort mugs because we got off of Everest and I almost when we were going backwards and we finished going backwards on Everest I was like 
I think I'm gonna hurl off the side of this Expedition Everest ride and I don't know what it is maybe I just didn't eat enough today or I'm just not feeling a hundred and ten percent so we decided to call it a day and I kept saying sorry to Corey because I never want him to feel like we're like cutting certain parts of the vacation short and he always reassures me we're not but you always feel kind of bad so either way it's 12 27 we're headed into everything pop right now we're gonna have a nice big lunch fill our resort mug sit in the air this was basically our plan anyway we just didn't get corn the jelly donut or watch festival of the lion kings and, we might and, go back and do that tonight and not but, to interject but that's why i said to brianna i was yeah. like when you look at the big picture of it we were gonna go see a show and then just have snacks yeah we've done all the rides we wanted to do so we just left two hours early who cares right which and he's so right you just always feel especially for me like with my stomach and stuff you just always feel bad being the person that's cutting something short or not being able to do something so we are going into pop now we're gonna have a nice lunch hopefully we'll head to animal kingdom a little bit later on this afternoon after a pool break and then we have our Topolino's dinner tonight so we're very excited we're gonna have a nice rest of the day and we're on vacation so we've got to go with the flow I've got to learn that myself so let's head into pop and get some lunch all right so we just sat down for a nice lunch look how cute you are I just love you so much okay what did you get for lunch I had a uh, garlic um, pan seared shrimp with uh, rice and black beans and garlic uh, green beans and they did those right yeah fresh these are made fresh now. Yeah. and then I got the chicken with garlicky green beans mashed potatoes just for reference this entire lunch both of these meals together were 31.72 this oh, is sorry, a massive a meal a right a literal half a bird and i mean like shrimp are not that they're cheap or expensive but i just feel like that's really good quality so we're gonna enjoy our lunch right now i already know this is going to be good because i love it actually try one of your shrimp because you have never had those before, so let's see how they are. And? A little salt, but yeah. other than that, they're pretty good. Hi friends, we made it back to Animal Kingdom, so we ended up relaxing at the resort. We left here around 12-ish, and then we ended up getting back here around four, so it was just a nice little afternoon at the resort. We ended up swimming for a little bit, having, res like, I almost said resort, having lunch at the resort. It was just really, really perfect. It is now 4.20. We just did some shopping in the gift shop. I'll show this to you guys when we get back. I was looking online today, or Corey was online today, and saw that Walt Disney World News posted this new sweatshirt. We were literally here this morning and it wasn't put out, and it just was, and it's like this white neutral with like a maroon D Disney in the front, and then it says Walt Disney World on the back. I'm obsessed, I ended up getting it in an extra large so that it was oversized, but not like to my ankles oversized, and I'm also sweating because it is super, super hot. Well, look at me, I'm like literally whitewashed out. And now we are headed to Asia. I'm gonna get my corn. I'm gonna get a nice little Sunday. So we're gonna have, oh sorry, blurry again, but got my little Walt Disney World, Disneyland reusable tote. Very excited about it. And let's go have some snacks. Corey's in line right now at, of course, Eight Spoons Cafe. He's getting his jelly donut sandwich and he is very excited. Someone got their pulled pork <laughs> jelly donut. He's so excited. Yes, and then he also, surprised me he thought I said I wanted mac and cheese I'm always happy to eat it so I got that and then I just wanted to share we are on the way into Africa but we have a nice little tree of life view we've got a party boat it's like right there around the corner so we're just having here I'll even get up and kind of show you our view sorry it's so dark but like we get to have a nice little view of the tree of life oh it's so dark let's see if I can get it bright so there's the little boat tree of life again I'm sorry you guys it's so dark I don't know why King, all done. We just did safari and I've got my corn. Corey's got our 
shopping bag. Here he is. We are leaving Animal Kingdom and it's a little blurry. Not sure if you can tell, but it is about to storm. So we're gonna eat this and rush to the bus. Hi friends. Hi everyone. We've been refreshed, rejuvenated. What was the last thing? Oh, the last time you saw us, we were leaving Animal Kingdom. Yes. It did start to rain. It actually started raining. It wasn't as like, terrible. It was just no, a nice it was shower. just like a it nice, like big, like bigger shower. But now it's like really muggy and humid yeah. out. But we're doing dinner at Topolino's tonight. I specifically booked this so that we would have a lot of time to like get ready and enjoy the Riviera. I think we have about 50 minutes before Something our dinner like that, reservation. Yeah. But we're gonna do some outfits of the night, and we're so excited to go back to Topolino's. You know that we can't literally not go to Topolino's. So let's do outfits. Of, oh, who's we're going gonna, first? We're gonna start with Brianna. Oh, okay. Should I do a spin? One second. There you go. Spin, twirl. Let me take my phone out so it's a nicer spin. Ready? She's wearing a pocket dress that twirls. Yes, yeah, so my dress is from Abercrombie and Fitch. My shoes are from Target. And that's literally the only part of it. And your face is from your parents. And we have Mr. Corey Woodbine. Alright, give us your outfit of the night. Uh button down from Old Navy. Yes. Drawstring J. Crew shorts. Everyone knows the short. Yep. Sperry. Invicta Mickey watch. Okay, and we are ready to head into the Riviera. Let's see what we get up to in the next like hour or so. All right, everyone. Greetings from Topolino's. We actually ended up going to the bar and getting some drinks. I got a Di Sirono on the rocks. Corey got, got a driver number two. It's a gin based beverage. Yes, and that's like your favorite beverage of all time to get here. Like I feel like you get that a lot. It's citrusy, which we all know I love. You like? It's just so refreshing. What's the other drink that you normally get? The, the old modern fashion, fashion? Oh, the modern, modern fashion. fashion. Modern yeah. Fashion. What's in it's that? It makes it different. It's not fruit wine, Appleton Estate rum. Oh, so there's. So is that what makes it a little yes. different? Yeah. Vanilla bean and bitters. Corey is jazz. This is oh. our favorite bread in the world, and they always pour fresh olive oil here. We normally get the ricotta too, but we didn't end up doing that. We'll share with you our appetizers later. We actually haven't gotten the ricotta in a while, but they always give you a basket of bread and some olive oil. All right, here we go. I ended up going with the red pepper bisque. It's a soup. I was in the mood for a soup tonight, so that's what I went with. With. And then Corey, I got what was the, the name of yours? Duck Kong Fi. The Duck Kong Fi. All right, do you want to go ahead and give it a try? We'll do a nice little taste test. Also, you guys, sorry for the awkward lighting. You know, Topolino's is dark and intimate. We're trying it now for the first time. I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh. And? The pasta's cooked lovely. Yeah. The duck is literally just, it melted. I didn't even need it. Yeah. I don't know what sauce this is. I forget what it is, but it's kind of like. Oh, it's sweet oil. That's okay. Nice. Oh, I can, I can get behind this. this Proceed. Oh, you can smell like. Very, very, very. Do we get the? So <laughs> All right, you guys, it is time for dinner at Topolino's. I ended up going for the classic sole. I haven't had this in about a year, and I was just really in the mood for some nice light fish. And then, Corey ended up going for the scallops with the English pea risotto. This is what I had on our last trip, so. Let's get Corey's taste test of it because I think he's gonna love it. I am so excited for you to try this. I'm very anti doing everything in one bite. But on you're kind of supposed to with this kind of style. And that's where I'm getting at. All right, go ahead. You are just going to absolutely love it. Yep. And get the English peelers and toe. Yes. And let's do a little bit of this. Veg oh yeah. Okay, go ahead. The scallop is cooked perfectly. The rice is a nice al dente, it's not mushy. No, it's so You get good. a freshness from the carrot and the pea Yep. within the risotto, delightful. Food Network, Corey. All right, let's enjoy dinner. All right, time for dessert. I ended up going with the apple tart and tart, I believe it was called. And then what did you get? What was the name of it? Uh, the vanilla bean ice cream. With olive oil or with, something with on it? With olive oil, um, fennel dusting, okay. and a lemon crumble. All right. Alrighty, we have finished up at dinner. I thought it was delicious. A delicious. few misses. Delicious. Which is the why, dessert was the only miss. Yeah, for which me. is why I think flying fish 
wedges them out for me right the now. The Topolino shell does it. I, we never here. get we never get dessert there. Yeah, and I just true. got dessert there, and it just missed. Like, but that still doesn't deter it, like so that. I can I don't need to get. Mine was here. giving like apple sand with like peanut butter, and it was chocolate. It was like weird. If I had vanilla bean ice cream, yeah, with olive oil. Fennel powder and like a lemon crumble. I enjoyed the olive oil on there, I do have to say, but everything else just like didn't make sense. Oh, it, 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 the olive oil was weird for me. Yeah, so I'm gonna give this Topolino's from experience, like, I'm gonna give it an eight. Eight out of 10 for me. I'm giving it a nine. Yeah, I mean, you had the scallops, which My I scallops had last were time, which were outrageous. The so duck good. confit the was outrageous. Was the red pepper bisque I did think was good, but it really could be for like two or three people. It's not like a lobster bisque or a regular soup that you can just like inhale the whole thing and eat it. So I definitely would say that. But we wanted to close out the vlog at what we wish was our home forever, but we're going back to Puff. So we thought we would just close out the vlog with our three favorites of the day here at the Riviera before we go back. So my first favorite of the day was just the pool afternoon. Like it was so nice to come back and rest and recharge. Like my body just needed that so bad. My second favorite was, we were just talking about this at dinner, did I forget what they were? You definitely did. Do you remember what mine were? No. Oh, um, going back to Animal Kingdom. Oh no, I remember, sorry. Uh, our morning safari, because the yeah. lions were out and it was just like a really beautiful morning safari. So I would definitely say that. And then I would say my last favorite was, just like trying to go a little bit more with the flow and going back to Animal Kingdom was just, Really fun and enjoyable. So those are my three favorites of the day. What were your three favorites? You definitely stole one. I don't remember you having two of mine. Okay. First one was the pool, which we originally yeah. shared. And then mine was the morning safari because of the fact that the amount of animals that were out oh, yeah. was super cool. I and mean, the lion was like smushed up snuggling on the rock. And then my third was my jelly donut pulled pork sandwich. Yes, with that being said, we love you guys. We hope you loved this vlog. We can't even believe that we're getting really, really into the vlog series. Like yeah. I keep picking up the camera and being like, oh my God, I love that we're vlogging. But with that being said, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any upcoming Disney vlogs. But with that being said, we love you guys and we will see you in the next one. Toodles. Bye everyone. And you were looking for the Uber. Were I thought that was the car. It was not. I thought it was the car. Bye everyone, see you tomorrow.